Okay, so I'm gonna have it turn off first so we can see the difference. Uh, so apply and save. You will see a bit of ghosting which happens sometimes. Um, oh, it's off so we're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna show you the difference. I'm gonna load up Luton Airport. I'm gonna keep it scattered cloud. Uh, keep it in the daytime so we can see what's going on. Okay. I'm going to get my frame rate counter up here and I'm going to take off runway 25. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference with it off and with it turned on. So, once we've loaded in the sim, I'm going to use the Xbox controller for this just for demonstration. I'm just going to take off and show you the difference. Okay, so you see, loaded in 70, 71 frames per second, right? We've got outside view, let it load up. 65, 65 to 70, right? We're going around. Inside view, we get a little bit higher. We get around 70. I'm just going to take off. So 65 outside view, inside view. Yeah, around. 68.70 So I'm just going to do standard takeoff Well, it took off a bit slow uh, Just speeding things up here We don't normally fly like this That's it, right gear up So this this is the Luton add-on. Frame rate stayed steady around yeah, high 60s, 70, low 70s. Now, I'm going to restart it again with frame generation on. So to do that, I'm just going to go general options, frame generation on, and then I'm going to restart. Now, when I'm not recording in OBS, I normally get much higher frame rates. So you will see. At the moment, it's gone from the high 70s to 102. So that's like, no, from the high 60s to low 70s to 100, 113. Yeah, so we've gained quite a bit, a fair bit there. Outside view, around the high 90s and hundreds. Inside view, 110. So that's a massive difference. Now you might see a little bit of ghosting with the, can you see the cursor here? But you don't really notice that when, because I'm using a controller. With the mouse, you don't really notice any of that, which is weird, super weird. So I'm going to take it off again, full power, yeah go on let's toga it, toga time. See outside view, and then inside view, wow such a massive difference. Now when I'm not recording, the difference is 127 frames a second with hags on and 81 with sorry with frame generation on and 81 with frame generation off so OBS is using a bit of system resources you see on the on the heads up display you're getting a bit of ghosting but normally I'm flying inside, so I'm not going to see that. Some sacrifices have to be made. Now this is not the real DLSS. This is just using FSR and tricking the sim to enabling the option for um, DLSS frame generation. So we are using AMD's technology FSR free, which enables this. Now I do not recommend 
installing this for any multiplayer games as the uh, anti-cheat will look at it as a hack and you may get banned so bear that in mind just just use it for the sim so to do this i put the link in the description we click here we sign up to this website it's all free you don't have to pay ask for a donation but just don't donate go to this file here the point six zero version manual download it's low and it should download now once that's done go to your download and it should be in a zip here so right click on zip it i've already got one here and find your in sim install directory so my sim used to be in windows app because i got it from the microsoft store and you realize that when you're trying to drag it off in here maybe it won't let you drag it it says not enough space so to combat that we go to the windows store we find our sim we right click view details and you press these three dots here then you click manage now if you've still got the old store um, the old store game files because they are moved to windows no they moved to xbox games to enable you to go in there and mod mod some files so if you haven't got the new installation format you'll see it enable here you click that then it will ask you to move uh, your install core uh, files okay another way of doing that would be settings if you don't see that go to install options and change it to another drive but it has to have more than 157 gigs for the game so i put i named i renamed a folder called it microsoft games changed the folder and it moved the whole core sim files over there then i was able to drag and drop files into it so going back to the file we just downloaded so in order, so I'm going to go back to the Microsoft Games core installation folder, go to content, and then you will see I've just drag and dropped these files in here. But the first thing you do here is right click merge, and you have to enable the registry editor to make changes. Okay, make a system restore date in case it doesn't go well and you can fall back on that. Right, so you click yes. Blah, 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 blah. The key values are changed. Now we can drag and drop NVNG XDLL and then DLSS to FSR3 MDs that are You can just drag and drop them. I've already done that. And then once it's done, you'll get a pop up on your SIM saying frame generation, blah, blah, blah. Use at your own risk. It won't come up to me because I've already clicked yes. One thing I forgot to mention, this is the most important thing, and I actually had problems getting it to show up in frame generation in the game menu. I had to go to game mode. I had to go to game mode settings. Then I went to graphic settings. Then hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, turn on. If you have it off, make sure you press start, restart and not shut down like I did. Because once you shut down and open it again, it will still say you need to restart in red in order to take changes. So make sure you click restart. Okay. So when you load into the sim, once you've restarted your computer to re just get everything double checked. Okay, once you've restarted your sim, you go to options, general options, and you will see NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. Turn that on. Make sure VSync is off and then enabled in NVIDIA control panel. So we'll right click NVIDIA control panel. You go to manage 3D settings. And then you select Microsoft Flight Simulator and it will be called vertical sync which is vsync make sure that's enabled on thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the difference let me know if it goes well and if you're having any troubles we'll see if we can help in the comments thank you